Hey everyone, and welcome back to part 2 of my guide on Legendre's ODE and Legendre polynomials. Today we're going to find a formula for the coefficients of the Legendre polynomials. It's not Rodriguez's formula, but it's a more explicit formula that allows you to calculate the coefficients without differentiating long, complicated functions. Initially, I wasn't going to be doing this video because I didn't expect my Legendre's ODE video to become that popular. But after a bunch of people requested more parts, I finally decided to oblige. So let's get started by quickly reviewing what we did in the last video. In the last video, we solved Legendre's differential equation, which looks something like this. 1 minus x squared times the second derivative of y with respect to x, minus 2x times the first derivative of y with respect to x, plus k times k plus 1 times y equals 0. How we solved this equation was using the typical series solution method. So by supposing that the solution y was an infinite sum of a n times x to the power n. When we substituted this solution y into our differential equation, what we got was a recursion relation that looks something like this. a n plus 2 equals a n times n minus k times n plus k plus 1. All of that divided by n plus 2 times n plus 1. Looking further into this recursion relation showed that there were two possible solutions for when this k is a positive integer. The first was an infinite series solution, so the solution continued to the infinite power of x. The second was a polynomial solution, which we said was related to Legendre polynomials. Here the solution you got was a polynomial with a degree k, so it continued to x to the power k as the highest power term and then stopped there. You can see why the series would terminate just by looking at the recursion relation. Due to this n minus k term in the numerator, a coefficient like a sub k plus 2, and by extension everything that comes after that, would become 0, so the series would only go up to a sub k. Now if we want to find the numerical values of these polynomial coefficients, a naught all the way through a k, in the Legendre polynomial, we can do one of two things. We could set one of the initial coefficients, like a0 or a1, depending on if the Legendre polynomial has an even or odd degree. After setting a value for that initial coefficient, like say a0 equals 1, we can then calculate all the coefficients that come afterwards, like a2, a4, and so on. We can do this because from the recursion relation here, every coefficient in the series is related to the coefficient that's two terms behind it. So if we know a0, we can calculate a2, and then we can calculate a4, and then keep going, all the way up till a sub k. The second thing we can do is set the last coefficient, a sub k, to some constant, and then find the previous coefficient, so the opposite of this first uh, technique. Again, just as how each coefficient is related to the previous coefficients from the recursion relation, we can also say that the previous coefficients of the polynomial are related to the future coefficients, by this recursion relation. Now when we typically solve ODEs by series solutions, we tend to use the first technique, but in this case we're actually going to set a sub k, the coefficient of the highest power of the Legendre polynomial of degree k, we're going to set a sub k to a constant, and then solve for the coefficients below it. In fact, we're going to set a sub k equal to 2k factorial divided by 2 to the power k, times k factorial squared. Now this is a constant, and the reason it's a constant is that k is the constant that's specified in the ODE up here. It's given to you. Now don't confuse k with the running index n. n is different from k, so just keep that in mind. The reason we chose this particular value for a sub k is that it's going to simplify our algebra later on, and also because it's the coefficient value which normalizes the Legendre polynomial or it makes the Legendre polynomial equal to 1 at x equals 1, no matter what degree Legendre polynomial we have. Since we want to express the coefficients below a sub k in terms of a sub k, it's recommended to rewrite our recursion relation as a sub n in terms of a n plus 2 instead of the other way around, because we want to find the previous coefficients now using a sub k. Using this recursion relation, we can write a sub k minus 2, in terms of a sub k. All we did here was replace the n in the recursion relation by k minus 2. If we simplify this expression a bit, then we'll get negative 1 times k times k minus 1 
times a sub k divided by 2 times 2k minus 1. Now we can plug in the value of a sub k, which was defined right up here. To simplify this expression now, we can use the definition of the factorial. So 2k factorial is just 2k times 2k minus 1 times 2k minus 2 factorial. And k factorial is k times k minus 1 times k minus 2 factorial. When we plug in the factorial definitions into our current expression for a sub k minus 2, we'll get this really big fraction. Luckily, though, some terms are going to cancel out. So the k's up here cancel with the k squared in the denominator. The k minus 1 cancels with one of the k minus 1's in the denominator. And then the 2k minus 1's also cancel. And finally, the 2 in the numerator cancels with the 2 in the denominator. And finally, what we end up with is a sub k minus 2 equals negative 1 times 2k minus 2 factorial divided by 2 to the power k times k minus 1 factorial times k minus 2 factorial. And this is our expression for a sub k minus 2. So the coefficient that's two terms behind the largest coefficient a sub k, the largest degree coefficient a sub k. So now we have a more explicit formula for the second last coefficient in the Legendre polynomial. Let's now look at a sub k minus 4 using this recursion relation once again. So when we replace the n over here by k minus 4, just like how we replace the n by the k minus 2 to get a relationship for a sub k minus 2, then what we end up with is a sub k minus 4 equals negative 1 times k minus 2 times k minus 3 times a sub k minus 2 divided by 4 times 2k minus 3. But now we have the expression for a sub k minus 2 already, so we can just substitute that in here to get a sub k minus 4 equals negative 1 squared times k minus 2 times k minus 3 times 2k minus 2 factorial divided by 4 times 2 to the k times 2k minus 3 times k minus 1 factorial times k minus 2 factorial. Now again, we can use the definition of the factorial to re-express this fraction. And after we re-express the fraction, we can do some simplifications. And after all of the simplifying, we'll get negative 1 squared times 2k minus 4 factorial divided by 2 times 2 to the k times k minus 2 factorial times k minus 4 factorial. And this is our expression for a sub k minus 4. This is our simplified expression. Now you can keep going and get simplified expressions for a sub k minus 6, a k minus 8, and so on. But at this point, you should start seeing a pattern you'll see that in going from a sub k minus 2 to a sub k minus 4, the number being subtracted and all of the factorials doubled. In addition, the power on the negative 1 in the numerator went up by 1, and it went from a 1 multiplying the terms in the denominator to another 2. If you can't see this pattern yet, then hopefully you start noticing it once you write down the other coefficients like a sub k minus 6, a sub k minus 8, etc. But anyway, we can use this pattern we found to obtain a general formula for the Legendre polynomial coefficients, which would be a sub k minus 2m, so m is our running index here, equals negative 1 to the power m times 2k minus 2m factorial divided by m factorial times 2 to the k times k minus m factorial times k minus 2m factorial. Just for fun, you can compare this general formula to the expressions we found for a sub k minus 2 and a sub k minus 4 and see that it's indeed correct. Now the running index m here can't go so high that we end up with a coefficient of a sub some negative number. And we don't want that, so the index m here would be restricted to range between 0 and k over 2 if we had a Legendre polynomial with an even degree. That's because when the Legendre polynomial has an even degree, it would start with a sub zero. However, if you had a Legendre polynomial with an odd degree, then the lowest coefficient would be a sub one. So m would range from zero to k minus one over two in this case, because at m equals k minus one over two, you end up with a sub one. So finally, we can write the expression for a Legendre polynomial of degree k as the sum from m equals 0 to k over 2, or k minus 1 over 2, depending on if your Legendre polynomial has an even degree or an odd degree. 
So the sum along this range of negative 1 to the m times 2k minus 2m factorial divided by m factorial times 2 to the k times k minus m factorial times k minus 2m factorial, all of that multiplied by x to the power k minus 2m. And we can also write this out in the expanded form. Now notice that the series goes from the highest power at m equals 0, which corresponds to x to the power k, to the lowest power at either m equals k over 2 or k minus 1 over 2, depending on whether your Legendre polynomial is even or odd. Anyway, that should be it for this video. In the next video, we're going to use this explicit formula for p sub k to show that the Rodriguez formula also gives you a Legendre polynomial. In other words, we're going to verify and prove Rodriguez's formula. Thanks for watching.